You are about to embark on a guided meditation journey. Over the next few minutes, I will guide you into a deep state of relaxation. This time is for you and you alone. You don't need to do anything except relax and allow yourself to have this time. Breathe. When you are ready to resume your day, simply open your eyes. Namaste. Feel the wonderful sense of deep relaxation. Welcome. Welcome everyone to the second annual Maple Farms Mindful Women's Artist Retreat. You've arrived, but you actually began the journey the moment you decided to come. There's some familiar faces and it's great to see some new ones as well. So let's just start off with what we're working on. Um, <clears throat> I'm working with uh, basically concrete slabs and rope as an allegory for queer constraints in society. Initially it was oils and pastels for me. I got comfortable, started incorporating mud, um, blood. And I'm working on, um, well, I'm working through some stuff right now, so uh, I'm really happy to be here with you all. Nice. Um, well, I uh, typically work with the potter's wheel, uh, but uh, this weekend I thought I'd do some hand building. I've got some Dead Sea sourced clay. I think I'm going to do something to really represent my experience of the birthright trip about 10 years ago. Wow. And how about yourself? Well, first of all, I'll say I love clay. Like, that is so cool. And honestly, like, I'm not freaked out by blood. So. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just sort of like taking, taking certain elements, you know, of um, emerging themes in my life. So I'm just sort of like, like diving or like delving, I guess, um, into uh, these themes uh, and sort of juxtaposing them with conventional thoughts and ideas. I mean, Everybody's going through shit, like everybody you look at, no matter how much they hold it together. And I'm one of those people who is actually kind of curious about it. Like when I see someone, I'm just like, all right, yeah, cool, but what else? What else is happening? Um, and so I'm taking these thoughts, themes, ideas, allowing them to kind of trickle down in a natural way, depending on people's tax bracket will co sort of correspond to how they react to the artwork. So that's why I'm here. Well, thank you very much for sharing that. Um, could you just describe your last project just so we can get a sense? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so my last piece of work was actually in a group scenario. And what we would do is we'd work with words, you know, and if your ears are burning, yeah, I'm talking stories. I'm talking storytelling. And we would sort of turn them on their heads. Stories, beginning, middle, of end. We would only do middle, okay? And it might seem mundane to people, but actually if you took a closer look and changed your lens for once, you would see that we're actually making a lot of commentary. Society, you know, and what we would do was sort of like ask for a non-geographical location and then taking that we would suddenly choose something to say uh and some people were like this is so good this should be a movie but where do you secure funding like i'm sure as artists we all realize that that's kind of like the most annoying thing it's like nobody wants us to fucking make anything nobody wants us to actually make anything 
And then it got to the point where I was like, you know what? This isn't working anymore. I've got to do my own thing. And um, maybe that's at a farm. <laughs> and maybe it's amongst like, like cool women and non-binary human beings. I'm really excited to see what all you guys make, you know? But moreover, I'm actually most excited to see what I make. All right, well, thank you all for being here. And just please settle in, create, and uh, we'll meet up later around the fire sharing circle, okay? What time do you think? Uh, after dinner, maybe. Oh my God, I forgot my watch. My mom couldn't understand anything they were telling her. And then I was such a bitch to her when the doctors were trying to explain everything because she couldn't understand it. She was overwhelmed. And I didn't even have time for him. And then he died. And I'm the only one that knew him, like knew anything about him. Life is so fucked. Look, you've named it and you can't change it till you name it. Don's right. Okay, now you are releasing things that you've been holding on to on a cellular level. I what happened? Um, Jackie's actually trying to speak right now, so. This is like a big part of my upcoming piece. It's not the whole thing, but um, big part of it. So I really needed to surface it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you for opening up, okay? This is a safe space. This is exactly what this community is for, okay? Connecting with nature just, it gives us this opportunity to hold space and just dive into our process, into our guts and just create. Does anyone have anything they'd like to share? Guys, um, I brought this bag that is filled with really funky multicolored feathers and I was thinking, let's make headbands, you know, Yeah, appropriation. Yeah. Let me know when. I have them. All right, guys. Today was a big day. Tomorrow is an even bigger day. Yeah, I think tomorrow I'm going to start early, you know? Go on a hike, take a solo journey, if anybody wants to join me. I'm going to leave at 7 a.m.
Oh my god. Oh god, which way do I go? Which way? Which way is north? Okay. Hello? Hello? Help! Which way is north? Which way is north? Which way is north? Why do I think north is the right way? <coughs> How? Oh God! Oh God! Hello? I'll wait for the North Star. That's what I'll do. Hello? 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 What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you here to help me? This... This is what's supposed to happen.
It was like the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. Like, I didn't know where I was, what was going on. The leaves were so crunchy underfoot, and there was like a wild wind now and again. How did you find your way out? It was a dog. I'm pretty sure he was my spirit animal, and I was the only one who could see him. That spot, the neighbor's doggies around all the time. You really shouldn't say spirit animal. Yes, it was my spirit animal who kind of showed okay. me the way back and what my next project's gonna be. Well, let's hear it. You know how we're all animals, right? Like um, dogs, uh, squirrels, like it's actually, we're all technically mammals, right? So what I wanna do is take things that I find in nature, like let's say a forest, and actually create the human formation um, using found objects uh, within nature, like um, with like boobs and like dicks and stuff, you know? And then maybe adorn them with things that are beautiful as like a homage to the human nature form. Like with your feathers? Yeah. You know, like maybe even make like a feather headband. Or not, like something else. Maybe I'll work with some dead sea clay. Or like a cinder block. Or maybe I'll borrow some of your blood. Yeah. What is it you do? Oh, I just facilitate. Excellent. <laughs>